the Fat Controller knows that Edward is a really useful engine. And that is why he's given him his own branch line, the line that runs to Brendam Docks. One day, Gordon was pulling the express on Gordon's Hill when he thought he saw a red flag blowing beside the track. Oh, no! That's a danger signal! I'd better stop! Uh, that's not a danger signal! Those are red! <laughs> it was a pair of trousers that had blown off a washing line. Poof. Then there was trouble. Gordon couldn't start up again on the steep hill with his long, heavy express coaches. Oh! <laughs> Edward had just arrived at Wellsworth Station when the station master stopped him. Gordon is stuck on his hill. He needs a banker engine to give him a push. Oh, not again. And he says I'm the one that's unreliable. Honestly. Gordon was waiting very impatiently for Edward when Emily came along. <laughs> Having a rest, are you, Gordon? I wish Edward would get here and give me a push before any more engines see me. Oh, dear, Gordon. <laughs> I see you've got stuck on your hill again. It wasn't my fault, Thomas. There were some red trousers by the track, and they looked like a danger signal. Red trousers? Danger signal? <laughs> <laughs> by the time Edward arrived, Gordon was rather cross. You took your time, Edward. You're so old and slow, I'm surprised the Fat Controller keeps you on. You're not moving very quickly yourself, Gordon. <laughs> Gordon was still fuming as Edward pushed him up the hill. <laughs> Express coming through! Aren't you even going to say thank you? Oh. Your tracks! Don't any of you know any songs to help pass the time? This is going to be a very long journey without any music. And Big Blue Tank Engine Thomas is getting grumpy already. He needs a bit of cheering up. Such a lovely day, you got a job to do. Maybe you don't want to do it, but hey, hey, hey. If you want to be happy, tell me what's stopping you. When you're grumpy, you're in your own way. There's all so much to discover. If you open your eyes, you might even uncover your own smile. Do you really want to be strong? A bad mood is like a blindfold, it covers up your eyes, it makes the world around you dark as night. Just shake it off until you move it around. You can do it if you try. You see it all in a new light. Wake up. So come be Thomas. Cheer up. in the sky. Wake up. So come be Thomas. Or else the world gon' pass you by. Don't let the world pass you by. 
Thomas, Thomas imagine your copita when we Slow down a little, Thomas. You need to be careful about animals on the tracks. <laughs> I know all about that. We get animals on the tracks all the time back on Sodor. I just give a little peep on my whistle, and they soon get off the tracks again. Beautiful sky, don't let the world pass you by. <laughs> One morning, the Fat Controller had a very important announcement to make. Listen carefully now. A section of the track just beyond the water tower at Knapford Bend has buckled in the hot sun. You must take special care and mind your speed when passing through that area. All the engines were listening very carefully. All the engines except... Paxton, the diesel. <laughs> Pay attention, Paxton. I can't help it. Look, there's a duck over there. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, Paxton, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. May I remind you all, and you too in particular, not to be silly. Keep your mind on the job. We don't want any accidents. I will take these trucks to the shunting yard and keep my mind on the job. No silliness. <laughs> Soon, I'll be coming up to the damaged track the Fat Controller warned us about. I'd better slow down. As Paxton rolled over the bumpy track, it rattled his radiator and clattered his connectors. <laughs> oh, that was fun! <laughs> The Fat Controller's words flew out of Paxton's cooling fans. All he could think of was being silly. Now what's so funny, Paxton? Listen to the sound I make when I go over the bumpy track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You try it, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Go on, get a good run at it and go back really fast! Good idea! Thomas went ahead so he could get a good run up to the bumpy bit of track. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> then there was trouble. <laughs> Thomas had bumped right into Toby, 
who had been taking on water at the water tower. <laughs> oh, you are a funny little engine. When I'm with you, we rock and we roll. You make me happy, you make me bold. Nothing is hard, cause I'm feeling safe. This is our song, our tale of the brave. Good friends will stay right by your side. Tell you the truth and I'll tell you a lie. Talk with you, play with you, always be fair. Just be someone who cares. away. I've just been useful while I was waiting for my ship. And my ship is coming in tonight! Maybe we could take you past the animal park, Harold. You could see all the animals close up. That would be nice. Sorry, Harold, but the animal park is not on our way. I know. We could take Harold across the Sodor Suspension Bridge. I must say, that sounds very exciting. But it's still not on our way. We must take you directly and promptly to the Sodor Search and Rescue Centre. It's the Great Western Way. Duck was sticking to the Great Western Way and that was that. This made Thomas cross. Harold! I really want to show you Nap the station, but I don't think Duck will let me. Then Thomas had another idea. <gasps> Duck, I forgot to tell you. We need to go to Nap the station. We have to collect the engineer who's going to fix Harold. All right, Thomas. If we need to go to Knapford station, we must go there directly and promptly. So Duck headed toward Knapford station. Just wait till you see inside. It's... Stop! What's the matter? Just stop! <laughs> Sorry, but Harold's too tall to go into the station. But... Express coming through! Helicopter on the line! Harold's too wide to let me come out. Now I'll never be on time. The fat controller couldn't believe his eyes. Duck, Thomas, what are you doing here? We have to collect the engineer who's going to fix Harold, sir. What nonsense. The engineer is waiting for Harold at the search and rescue centre. Thomas? Um... Oh... Now, Duck was cross with Thomas. You tricked me, Thomas. But from now on, we will be sticking to the great western way of doing things. We will be going... Directly and promptly to the search and rescue centre. I wish I could have shown you more things, Harold. Don't worry, Thomas. You try. 
We could fly to the moon, dive under the sea, travel to places that we've never been. Make friends with a tiger who knows how to sing. Together we can do a million fun things. Let's go, let's dream, come along with me. The big world is coming, all aboard for a fantasy. The world's full of wonder, there's so much we can be. Thanks to imagination and curiosity. We could be in a movie where we save the day We could speed through the ocean on the sun's yellow rays We could ride a roller coaster and laugh all the way Together we can do a million great things Let's go, let's dream, come along with me The big world is coming, all aboard So much to learn, so much to see, so much to do, so much to be. Let's go, let's dream, come along with me. The big world is calling, all the boys. That night, Thomas was very cross. It's not fair. I like to race Bertie, but he's been rerouted. What does rerouted mean? It means to go a different way to the one you usually go on. What's wrong with that, Thomas? Bertie takes a shortcut now, so he always wins. Then an idea flew into Percy's funnel. So, why don't you take a shortcut too, Thomas? Then you could be rerouted just like Bertie. Thomas thought that was an excellent idea. But Annie and Clarabelle didn't. But there's no shortcut on your branch line, Thomas. If you go another way, you could miss a station. Or make your passengers late. But Thomas was determined. If Bertie could be rerouted, so can I. Thomas arrived at Dryor Station, just as Bertie was arriving too. Some passengers got off, and some more passengers got on. But as soon as he could, Thomas rushed away again. Bye-bye, Bertie. See you soon, Thomas. He didn't want to lose another race. If Bertie can be rerouted, so can I. Thomas came to a junction where the tracks were already switched. Maybe that's a shortcut. But he only ended up running along a loop siding and coming back onto his branch line again. Oh! Then, Thomas found another track that led away from the branch line. Maybe that's a shortcut. We, we don't, don't think, think so. We, we don't, don't think, think so. This time, Thomas ended up in an old goods yard. Oh, dear. That's not a shortcut either. We told you so. We told you so. The passengers were grumbling. But Thomas didn't want to give up. Finally, Thomas spotted an old track that led into the woods. This must be a shortcut. There is no shortcut, Thomas. Bertie was waiting for Thomas at the level crossing. 
never usually takes this long. Bertie's passengers were starting to grumble too. So Bertie went on his way. To see the steam team are happily hooping the strongest engines, hauling all those times. We're on our way, we have our fare. Down to the station, the engines are on. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you today? We don't normally repair diesels here. I oh, know, Victor. I just wondered if you had any spare puff. Spare puff? It's for Thomas. We were being silly on the bumpy track, and he backed into Toby and lost his puff. But you repair steamies. You must know about puff. <laughs> Toby was laughing so hard, he thought his side plates might fall off. But Paxton didn't think it was very funny. Thomas has lost his puff, Toby. It's no joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paxton. Puff just means steam. When Thomas backed into me at the water tower, his firebox got wet. That's all. A steamy can't puff when his fire's gone out. Ah, I see. That's what you meant by Thomas lost his puff. Yet again, Paxton felt silly. Until he realized something. So, all Thomas has to do is wait till his firebox has dried out and then he'll get his puff back? Yes. yes. Great! Thanks, Toby! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Paxton looked for Thomas back at the water tower. Thomas, you're OK now. Yes, thank you, Paxton. See, I found my puff. Don't be silly, Thomas. All you had to do was wait for your firebox to dry out. <laughs> I know. I was only joking. Oh, but the joke's on me, Thomas. At least I learned something today. What did you learn? That puff just means steam? Yes, but I also learned that when the fat controller says don't be silly, I shouldn't be so silly. <laughs> Misty Allen Rescue, here we go. Misty Allen Rescue, here we go. With boilers on the bubble. 
any sense? How could there be an island around here that's unknown? What if it was always covered in mist? Hmm? Oh, that sounds very mysterious. Oh. <laughs> could be caught up in a landslide. Or have fallen off a bridge. Or tried to climb a mountain. And be stuck up on a ridge. He could have been derailed when he was trying to win a race. Imprisoned in a steel world. Or be lost in outer space. Fat controller to Major Thomas. Come in, Major Thomas. Stop messing around. You're causing confusion and delay. He could have gone off to some other place that we don't even know. He could be almost anywhere. Oh, where did Thomas go? We don't know, sir. Well, keep looking. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere in the world. Sir, sir, I found out what happened to Thomas. All right, Emily, calm down and tell me slowly. Thomas went down to the dock, sir, and and Carly loaded him onto a ship. She did what? But that means he could be anywhere in the world. He could be checking out the pyramids while floating down the Nile, or in the outback of Australia with a crocodile. He could be in Paris sitting by the Eiffel Tower, or chilling in Antarctica. Wouldn't last an hour. He could be in the Himalayas taking in the mountain air, or acting like a tourist in the heart of Times Square. Are there tracks there? Of course. The subway goes right through it. <gasps> you mean he's gone underground? Hello? Hello? He could be in Rio de Janeiro as the carnival goes by Or out on Easter Island saying hi to a Mawai Hi! Hi He could be on an African safari racing a zebra Or in Venice on a gondola Don't be preposterous, he's a tank engine, he can't fit in a gondola Well he could if it was a rather large gondola he could be wrestling a sumo in a match in Tokyo He could be almost anywhere Oh, where did Thomas go? We still don't know, sir Well, we have to find him He's my number one engine He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas He could be anywhere, anywhere in the world Oh, Thomas, where could you be?
some cinders and ashes There's only one thing to do Put aside your worries and just pull together Is the only way to get through time on the island of Sodor. The wind was cold and it looked like it would snow very soon. So all the engines had to wear their snow plows. Hello, Edward. All ready for the snow? Oh, yes, Percy. Better to be safe than sorry. But Thomas didn't like wearing his snowplow. So he puffed into a siding and did something very cheeky. I can leave my snowplow here and pretend I can't find it. So Thomas played a trick on his driver. He told him that the snowplow didn't fit and had to be removed. Now I won't have to wear it anymore. Thomas puffed back to Tidmouth's sheds. Thomas, where's your snowplow? I can't find it. If it snows, I'll just have to go out without it. That night, it did snow. The island of Sodor was soon covered in a thick blanket of fresh white snow. And when the engines puffed off to work the next morning, they were all wearing their snow plows. All except Thomas. The fat controller was not happy. Thomas, as you don't have your snow plow, you will have to wait in the shed. It is too dangerous to go out without it. Very well, sir. Emily, since you have your snow plow, you must clear Thomas's branch line for him. Yes, sir. Thomas was delighted. I don't have to wear my snow plow. Emily was cross. She wasn't snug and warm. She was clearing snow on Thomas's branch line. It's not fair. Why do I have to wear a silly snow plow and Thomas doesn't? <laughs> Then she heard some children laughing. They're probably laughing at me because I look so silly with my snow plow on. This made Emily even more cross. But as Emily cleared the tracks, she saw the children playing in the snow. What's that just around the corner? Something in the rocks and trees. Slowly, slowly getting closer. Makes you want to puff and wheeze. Monsters everywhere hiding in the trees. Just behind the rocks glowing in the breeze. Monsters everywhere doing as they please. They try to scare. Is your boiler getting colder as you slowly puff around? Must be brave, you must be bolder. It's no more than silly sounds. Monsters everywhere hiding in the trees. Just behind the rocks blowing in the breeze. 
monsters everywhere doing as they please they try to scare you look out look out they're all about where look out look out they're all about where look out look out they're all about where oh that's not so scary Monsters everywhere, hiding in the trees Just behind the rugs, blowing in the breeze Monsters everywhere, doing as they please They try to scare you Monsters everywhere, hiding in the trees Just behind the rugs, blowing in the breeze Monsters everywhere, doing as they please They try to you. I'm full of surprises. Are you singing, Diesel? They ought to say of me. I bring some razzle dazzle to the yard. <laughs> I'm full of surprises. As you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. I can't really see anything under here. I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me. I bring some razzle-dazzle to the yard. I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. Some would probably say, I'm only up to my old tricks. But I'd say I'm a problem solver, looking for a nice quick fix. Ah! <laughs> I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me I bring some razzle-dazzle to the rail I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see I'm trusting my surprises to prevail I hope this time being surprising doesn't fail They used to if call they... me devious oh. Because I had a bit of previous someone on know. But please, you must be us. Oh. I'm not that bad <laughs> Well, maybe just to take <laughs> Tick a tack a brick a brack Shake, shake, don't be late Duck a tack a one another Puff a puff a chuff chuff Tick a tack a brick a brack Shake, shake, don't be late Duck a tack a one another Puff a puff a chuff chuff Puffin' along, shot and shoving. Whistles blowing their song over so door. Working under the sun, see them chopping, puffing, bubbling, boiling, shot and shoving, rocking and rolling. Ground gonna quake, rumble and shake. Hear the engines coming. Everybody stop, everybody wake. Hear the engines coming. Ground gonna quake, rumble and shake. Toby and James, Gordon, Henry Give me one more name, shout out Thomas <laughs> Let me say it again See him chopping, puffing, bubbling, boiling, shouting, shopping, rocking and rolling Round them quick, rumble and shake, hear the engines coming Everybody stop, everybody wait, hear the engines coming Round them quick, rumble and shake Excuse me, Mr. Crane. Uh-huh. You have to load me onto a ship bound for China straight away. Oh, do I now? Please. 
I'm trying to catch up with someone. Someone I need to talk to. That's some distance to go for a talk. Must be a good friend. Yes. She is. Sometimes you make a friend The kind of friend who stays Sometimes you make a friend And you're the one who goes away Sometimes you're the one Who acts a bit unkind You didn't think And you did something You can't forget and can't rewind I'm sorry, so sorry And I don't know what to do With you so far away I'm sorry, so sorry And as soon as I see you That's exactly what I'm going to friend the kind of friend you need you try to make them happy but you don't always succeed sometimes you're the one who does something that's not okay sometimes you hurt a friend and you don't know what to do or say I'm sorry so sorry from the island of Sodor. I think I met you at the Great Railway Show. Oh, hello! I remember you, your Yong Bao. That's right. But what are you doing in China, Thomas? Oh, I'm looking for a friend. A friend from Sodor? No, a friend from Africa. I met a steam engine from Africa this morning. <gasps> you did? Yes. She was heading for Dang Ye Dan Xia. Danye Dancia? Yes, the Rainbow Mountains. The Rainbow Mountains! Of course! Thanks! Thanks! If you're going to the mountains, you'll need a snowplow! Looking for you, I'll come through if it takes me all my It's Thomas. He's the number one blue engine. He's a cheeky little tank engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel and a whistle. Thomas works on his very own branch line with his two faithful coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. Sometimes he can be a little impatient, 
often getting himself into trouble. Ho oh, ho ho, Thomas. But Thomas is always helpful and works very hard. That's why he's a really useful engineer.
Thomas was still in the shed. It seemed like a very long day. <sighs> At least I don't have to wear my snow player like Emily. <laughs> but Emily was having a great time now. <laughs> she was having so much fun. She cleared the tracks in no time. As you have done such a good job clearing the tracks, you can take Annie and Clarabelle out on Thomas's branch line. Oh, thank you, sir. Emily was very pleased. Back at Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas was very bored. 
I wish I had something to do. I don't know why you don't like your snowplow, Thomas. Clearing snow is great fun. Really? And now I get to take Annie and Clarabel out on your branch line. Thomas was very surprised. But they're my coaches. That's my job. You can't go out today, Thomas. Not without your snowplow. Thomas watched as Emily was coupled up to Annie and Clarabel. See you later, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Hope your snowplow turns up soon. Thomas wasn't happy at all. He wished he could go out in the snow with Annie and Clarabel. Then Thomas had an idea. If I get my snowplow, the Fat Controller will let me pull Annie and Clarabel. So Thomas puffed quietly away. Thomas looked for the siding where he had left his snowplow. But none of the sidings had been cleared. They were all covered in snow. They all looked the same. Oh, no! The snow has covered up my snowplow and hidden it. Thomas didn't want to go back to the shed. He wanted to pull Annie and Clarabel in the snow. Maybe I don't need my snowplow. After all, Emily has cleared my line. So Thomas puffed away to find Emily. Then there was trouble. It started to snow again. I must find Emily. I must find Emily. Thomas puffed as hard as he could through the falling... Thomas pushed his way along the overgrown track. Annie and Clarabel were not happy. Thomas, please! Where are we going? Don't worry. This shortcut is going somewhere. We'll be out of the woods soon, and then... Oh! Oh! Thomas had hit a rotten buffer in the undergrowth, and his wheels had come right off the track. Oh, no! I can't back up! I'm stuck! The passengers were not happy. Now they were going to be very late indeed. Thomas felt terrible. And then he saw his friend Bertie. <gasps> Hello, Thomas. What are you doing in there? <sighs> I was trying to find a shortcut, Bertie, but I've come off the rails. And now my passengers will be late. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> But maybe I can take your passengers for you. Thomas's passengers thought that was a very good idea indeed. But Thomas still felt very silly. <laughs> it was almost dark when Harvey came to shunt Annie and Clarabel out of the way before lifting Thomas back onto the rails again. The Fat Controller was very cross. Your passengers don't like to be late, Thomas. You have caused confusion and delay. I'm very sorry, sir. I was hoping to find a shortcut, but I will stick to my branch line from now on. A few days later, Thomas was back on the track. He arrived at Knapford Station to pick up Annie and Clarabel. Thomas! Welcome, Welcome back. back! We, we missed, missed you. you! Thank you, Annie and Clarabel. I missed you too. <laughs> Thomas promised to stick to his branch line in the future. He wouldn't try taking shortcuts again. See you later, slow coach. But he and Bertie still like to have races. And sometimes... Thomas even wins.